CEC conductor sizing. Let us evaluate the title of table two. Again, this evaluation can be used on table one, three, and four as well. Allowable opacity for not more than three insulated conductors, copper, rated not more than 5,000 volts, unshielded, and in race ray or cable based on the ambient of 30 degrees Celsius. If the electrical installation follows these exact description listed in the table's title, then this would be considered the ideal condition. Why well, call it the perfect world? You have three conductors or less in the raceway. And the room or space temperature is 30 degrees or less. Please review my other videos. Number eight, CEC conductor general. CEC conductor sizing. When the electrical installations are in the perfect world conditions, we can use the table as is without any derating factors. So given a single phase non-continuous load that draws 77 amps from the source, and the two conductors are ran in EMT, the room temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, and the termination temperature is 75 degrees Celsius. Size the RW90 required for the load. So I would draw a picture or a layout and identify everything if I can. So we have a termination temperature of 75, two conductors in a raceway, and my ambient is 25 degrees Celsius. And my load draws 77 amps. This is my perfect world conditions. So let's look at table two. We can go down the 75 degree column. Where does 75 amp fits? It fits on the 85 amp opacity. Therefore, we need a number four, good for 85 amps. Let us look at another perfect world condition. We're given three phase non-continuous load that draws 102 amps from the source. The three conductors are ran at EMT and the room temperature is 29 degrees Celsius and the termination temperature is 90 degrees Celsius. Size the RW90 required for this load. Again, I'll draw a picture and label everything that I can. This is the perfect world condition. Now let's recall table two. I can go down the 90 degree column where 102 amp fits will be 115 amp opacity for a number three size wire. CEC conductors derating. When the electrical installation falls outside of our perfect world conditions, the conductor must be derated to account for the excessive heat or the lack of heat dissipation. When there are more than three conductors in the raceway, so the perfect world condition, my not so perfect world condition. I 
as you can see, there is now more source of heat in this raceway. The best way to reduce the heat generation is by reducing the resistance of the wire, which means to increase the wire size. When the electrical installations fall outside of our perfect world conditions, the conductor must be derated to account for excessive heat or lack of heat dissipation. When the ambient temperature is greater than 30 degrees, perfect world conditions, 30 degrees or less. A not so perfect world when the ambience greater than 30 degrees. As you can see, there is now more heat surrounding the raceway. This causes less heat dissipation. The best way to reduce heat generation is by reducing the resistance of the wire. This means we need to increase the wire size. The CEC looks at derating from a different perspective. Their idea of derating is to reduce the allowable opacity of the conductor. 4001C, four more conductors in a run of raceway or cable, as specified in Table 2 with the correction factor applied as specified in Table 5C. 4004C reads the same but for aluminum and Table 4. The same correction factor applies to that with the Table 5C. And 4047BI, the opacity correction factor for table 5A, where conductors are installed in an ambient temperature exceeding or anticipated to exceed 30 degrees Celsius. Let's try to understand 4004-1C and 4004-2C. So here's an example of a perfect world condition. Given three number one, RW90 with a termination temperature of 75 degrees Celsius and ambient of 30 degrees Celsius. So the number one, RW90, is good for 100 amps. In a not so perfect world, and we're given five number one RW90 with a TT of 75 degrees Celsius and ambient of 30 degrees Celsius. We now have five conductors in the raceway. So in the perfect world, the number one AWG is good for 100 amps. According to table 5C, when you have four to six conductors in a raceway, you're multiplying the factor by 0.8. Therefore, 100 amps actually becomes 80 amps. The conductor correction factor limits the impasse to 80 amps. Let us look at another example. Given a single phase two wire non-continuous load that draws 53 amps and is installed in the raceway with five conductors already in it. Find the new size RW90 to feed the load when the termination temperature is 75 degrees Celsius and the ambient temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. So I'll start off with drawing the picture. When the termination temperature is 75 degrees, my load current is 53 amps. And I make a note that there's seven conductors in the raceway. So according to table 5C, our correction factor is 0.7. Now on table two, let's pick a wire we're gonna pick number six, good for 65 amps to start. We apply the correction factor 
Therefore, my number six is now good for 45.5 amps, which is too small. Now, the next step is to pick the next size wire, which is the number four, good for 85 amps. I applied the correction factor of 0.7. I now get number four, good for 59.5 amps. So this will work. The number four is large enough to allow 53 amps through safely. Now let's look at another example. Given a single phase two wire continuous load that draws 153 amps and is installed in a raceway with 11 conductors already in it. Find the wire size RW90 to feed this load when the termination temperature is 75 degrees Celsius and an ambient temperature of 28 degrees Celsius. So again, I'll start with drawing picture, identify all the information that's given, which is TT75, 153 amps, and 11 conductors in the raceway. So let's recall table 5C, 7224 conductors give us a factor of 0.7. Now let's go to table two and start with the wire for 153 amps. We can pick at one knot, good for 150 amps to start. If we apply the correction factor of 0.7, we now get one knot that is good for 105, which is not big enough, so it's wrong. So let's pick the next wire size. We get two watt, good for 175. We apply the correction factor of 0.7, and we get a two watt, now good for, 122.5 amps, which is not big enough. So we pick the next wire size, which is a 3 odd for 200 amps. We apply the correction factor 0.7. We get 3 odd good for 140 amps, which is not big enough. Now we'll get the next wire size, which is 4 odd good for 230 amps. We apply the correction factor 0.7. The 4 watt is now good for 161 amps, which is okay. The 4 watt is big enough to allow 153 amps through it safely. Understanding 4004-7BI. So here's a perfect work condition given three number one RW90 with a TT75 and an ambient of 30 degrees Celsius. So number one, RW90 is good for 100 amps. In not so perfect work condition given three number one RW90 with a TT75, but now the ambient is 38 degrees Celsius. So in a perfect world, number one, R W90 is good for 100 amps. We look at table 5A now, we have to look at the installation temperature or the termination temperature, whichever is lower will dictate the column. So 75 degrees column at 40 degrees Celsius ambient, I get 0.88. I apply that to the wire size, I get number one, good for 88 amps. The conductor correction factor limits the opacity to 88 amps. Let's look at an example given a single phase two wire non continuous load that draws 88 amps and is installed in the raceway. Find the wire size RW90 to feed the load when the termination temperature is 90 degrees Celsius and the ambient is 42 degrees Celsius. Start by drawing a picture and identifying your components. Label your currents 88 amps, two conductors in the raceway and my ambient is 42 degrees. So recall table 5A, again, I can use a 90 degree column with a 45 amps, which gives me a correction factor of 0.87. I pick a wire to start. I'll pick a number four, 
good for 95 amps. I apply the correction factor of 0.87. Therefore, my number four is actually good for 82.65, which is not big enough. Next, I pick the next size wire, which is number three, good for 115 amps. I apply the correction factor of 0.87. I get a number three now, good for 100.05 and 100 amps, which is okay. So number three is large enough to allow 80 amps through it safely. When the electrical installation falls out of the perfect world conditions, both the number of conductors in a raceway is greater than 3 and the ambient temperature is greater than 30 degrees Celsius, we need to apply both correction factors from table 5A as well as table 5C. So we get the conductor size and opacity. We multiply by both correction factor and we have to compare the new conductor and the derated and pass it to see if it still carry the load safely. Thank you for watching. If you haven't yet liked or subscribed, please do so, as it's an indicator that you're liking my content. If there are any concerns, please feel free to leave a comment. Have a happy learning experience.